Hello and welcome to Maritime Foam. I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about modding blasters. I thought a good place to start would be a simple blaster that I did a bunch of uh, builds with when I first got my 3D printer, the Nerf Rival Knockout. It is a single shot pistol. Open the breech, drop in around, close the breech, prime, and fire. When you take out the screws and take off the red part of this blaster, you're left with this. Well, more accurately, you're left with this. You'll notice that this one has a long piece of brass. I actually modded this one a while ago with a brass breech, which means I have a piece of brass here, a slightly larger piece of brass sleeved over it. I dremeled out an area here for short darts to fit in instead of rifle balls. And this one will be when it's all back together, will be clip fed uh, and fire short darts. Close that up for now. Before I get into adding the shell that I've printed back onto this one to make it look more like a blaster, not just a handle with a thing sticking out of it, I'm gonna show you some other blasters that I've put together thanks to Meeker Arms. Meeker is a blaster designer. I've downloaded a bunch of his files off Etsy. Uh, really fun builds. And these are all using the Rival Knockout as a platform for making new things, but not having to actually create uh, the actual spring internal part of the blaster. You can just kind of add on cosmetically uh, whatever you want or switch it to fire different ammo types. Uh, he's really done a great job at making these really simple builds to do and really satisfying. Uh, so let me show you a couple. This is the Meeker Mark 28. It turned this into this, uh, a knockout that now fires Nerf missiles. So you put the missile in here, prime it the same way, and fire. I 3D printed all of these pieces and tr have tried to do all of the Meeker builds in kind of the same color scheme, even though this blue filament is really junky filament, but I just live with the flaws because I like the color. This is the Meeker Mark 18, uh, which can be, it actually has a piece here that comes off and you can attach different barrels to it. But thanks to this Pictini rail on the bottom, this is actually now a break action shotgun that uses sledge fire shells. Uh, these are 3D printed, as are all of the parts here. Um, let me let me load this up with some elites. We drop our shell in here. There we go. Close that up. Prime just like we do the other ones. And three shot shotgun blast from a sledge fire shell that's been printed. So, you know, this is this is really neat. I've printed a bunch of these shells, and this is just a fun one to play around with, and it looks really cool. And again, this is all based off the rival knockout. So this is only a $10 blaster on Amazon, $10 Canadian, and it's just such a, if you have a 3D printer especially, it's such a good place to get into experimenting. But let's get back to this. I've printed out all of my parts here for the Meeker Mark 17 that fires short darts from a clip. I'm gonna go ahead and try to, try to get this assembled and I'll fire a couple short darts out of it to show you. I guess, you know what? Let me fire one right now. This would go up in here. Breach closes like so, creating a seal. Prime, and it fires quite hard. Short darts are great for performance and accuracy and everything else. That's why there's a lot of kits to switch blasters over to short darts. Holy cow, that was a pain. It took me a little bit of time to remember how to put the rubber band on the wildcard catch for the clip. So it's all together and it's now the Meeker Mark 17 is now the same color as my Mark 28 and my Mark 18. I like that they all match. These were definitely a kind of a series of ones I did as learning blasters. I had actually had this together before 
and it was this blue, which is a nice blue, and funnily enough, this is a much better print because the filament is better than this one, but I wanted it to match. Uh, this is a worker short guard here. Uh, I'm just going to put five in there for now. This goes in here. We put the slide forward like that. Prime it. And fire. Uh, to reload, we move the slide back. Rack it back forward. <laughs> and when you fire, the rail will come off. I left a little bit of exposed brass just because this was kind of one for fun uh, and to learn how to do a brass breech. Um, I did put some white tape around the end of it just to make it a little bit safer instead of having the exposed brass. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I kind of like that the brass is showing because it, if I put it on display or put it up, I, you know, I know which one it is and what I did to it. All of this created from this uh, as kind of a platform. So this blaster uh, can be made into so many things and people do so many other mods. Uh, I will put a link to all of the all of the things that Meeker does. So many people, if you search for rival knockout mods, people have done so many neat things with this. I just love that this can become this. It can also become this. And it can also become this. It's like an evolution. Uh, I'll also say if anyone was ever interested in any of these conversion kits for the knockout for themselves or a kid, uh, I am able to license the files and print the files. So send me a message if that's ever something you're interested in. There are certainly better range tests out there than mine, um, but I like doing this little accuracy test from 30 feet to see how that works. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shot at Bessie with the original knockout. Pretty accurate at 30 feet. I mean, the missing is on me. Now I'll do the Meeker Mark 18 shotgun. I mean, because it's a shotgun and it's firing three darts with the same plunger volume, it's not going to do as well, but it's still, it's still pretty fun. I have a shell in there. I'm just going to close it up. So one of them hit Bessie in the nose and the other two fell a little bit shy, but that's pretty normal for a shotgun. It's more uh, close quarters. Now the Meeker Mark 28 firing demolisher rockets. Uh, again, rockets are rockets are definitely a short range thing. They're meant for completing certain objectives or destroying things, but I'll, I'll give you an idea of how far it goes from 30 feet. I'll angle it up a bit. <laughs> Almost hit the shed. It's still super fun. And now the Meeker Mark 17 firing short darts. I have three in the clip. I've closed the breach. And now let's see how we do. Yeah, super accurate. And the second one, I'm firing over the camera, which makes it a little awkward. But yeah, very, very accurate. And one more. Yeah, all three of those went exactly where aimed. This kit definitely turns this into a very, very accurate blaster. The only problem with this is you do have to rack the slide and prime it instead of doing it in one action. But still, super cool for my $10 knockout. I should have mentioned before, the faster feet per second, the accuracy, all of that from the short dart with brassing, that's the same spring that was launching ammo in all of the other ones. So no spring upgrade there. If you do a spring upgrade, you can get even more performance out of this, getting it up close to 200 feet per second, which is crazy. Until next time, I'm looking forward to when I do the first mod from scratch and I will video the whole thing. This one was already mostly done. Really, I was just putting some new colored shell pieces onto it. But since I was, I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the other rival knockout blasters that I've made from other knockouts. Till next time. Bye.